Fox looks just like any other neighborhood bar, but once you're inside, there's some key differences. Lights, a dartboard, a pool table, and a bar. Video from earlier this month makes it look like any other place on a Friday night, but the idea for this space stems from a serious place. A lot of regret. You feel like I'm mad I messed up my life to where now I can't even go out and have a beer like a normal person or a glass of wine like a normal person because that one beer or that one glass of wine will send me into a spiral to where I just won't stop. That's owner Alexis Lawson. She's four years sober. When we're in recovery and we have friends that aren't in recovery and they're going out and drinking and stuff like that, it can be a temptation. Leaving a 12-step meeting one night, the idea for Detox Sober Lounge popped into her head. It's not just about taking the alcohol out of the drink. but the pressure out of a social situation. The lounge hosts burlesque nights, karaoke, comedy nights, and 12-step meetings. A craft fair is also on the books. It's about undoing the idea that you need alcohol to have fun, and there are drinks besides water. We had a bartender uh, a couple, almost a couple years ago create a menu for us of mocktails because my idea of a mocktail was take a cocktail minus alcohol. It was disgusting. It's a place to belong with full acceptance, especially in recovery as people work to mend strained relationships. Lawson says detox is one of only five sober lounges around the country, something she's proud to be a part of, especially around the holidays. Everyone's excited and grateful, grateful for this space. It feels like family already and don't even know the person. Friday and Saturday, they'll be open all night long, and you can also rent out their space for any kind of celebration or meeting. At 72nd and Blondo, Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.